Africa. I'm Chris Caraggio, NBC News Radio. NBC News on KCAA Loma Linda, sponsored by Teamsters Local 1932. Protect KCAA Radio 106.5 FM, 10:50 AM. Also streaming from the KCAA Radio.com website and nbrradio.us. We got a blessed the show before we get started. Let's go. When I was in my mother's womb, I had a calling on my life to do something in the glory of God and marry it like a wife. Commit myself to his word and never be led astray. And when it's all over, when he comes, I'll be glad to see that day in the morning time. All right, good evening and welcome to the Ferran Doze Show on KCAA Radio 106.5 FM at 10.50 a.m. Also streaming from the KCAA Radio.com website, the station that leaves no listener behind, and MB Radio. That's right, MB Radio on all streaming platforms, YouTube, Twitter, I mean, uh, TikTok, wherever you go, Roku as well. Right now we're streaming there, so you can go download the apps of the KCA radio or the MBR uh, network radio app as well on whatever streaming, you know, devices that you utilize, your laptop, cell phone, just go get the apps. And there you can catch a streaming all over. Catch the other shows. Shouts out to MBR radio uh, for allowing me to partner with them and bring my military talk show uh, back on their platform. And uh, tonight is very special. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, I, I want let me let me let me take care of these these um, PSAs first because uh, tonight's very special to me because um, my guy Sports Log is here and um, he's part of my story. He's part of my testimony. He's a key part of why I'm still alive. If you talk to Alan, you remember how Alan said, you know, he thanks me. Uh, for introducing him to the Dr. Save You Supplements. Well, I thank this guy, Sports Log, for partnering with me 14 years ago when I barely started these, this talk show. 14 years. You're about to meet the guy from 14 years ago. That story is the truth. Uh, so he's here. And I wanted to have, you know, some 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 NFL, Major League Baseball side. I mean, th- you, you'll see for yourself. The guy knows his sports, still does to this day. So he's going to be here. I got Jody, a.k.a. DBC, here as well. Uh, shouts out to the Sports Collective media team. Uh, they're out there doing their thing. And also shouts out to Coach uh, Alan Emanuel, who um, is out there doing his thing as well. So, again, this is the Frondose Show on KCA Radio and MBR Network as well. So let's get this party started. Y'all ready? Uh, let me see. Oh, for that information about sickle cell trait, WDCONSCT.org. That is one of the main reasons why I'm here to bring awareness to sickle cell trait. So stay tuned for more of that. We'll be right back. Opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of any entities they represent. Find us on the web at mbradio.us. Some of us still carry the burden of battle. It threatens to drown us in our everyday lives. In battle, we had our weapons and combat gear to keep us safe, to keep us confident. But when we returned home, we were not armed with weapons and gear to cope with our own minds. I was lucky to find my combat gear, my mental weapon, and it's called Comigo. Comigo is a drug-free device that allows you to achieve calm in less than three minutes. In moments of anxiety, stress, anger, panic, or insomnia. Not with medication, but rather by activating the parasympathetic nervous system through breathing regulation and multisensory stimulation. A recent study has shown that Comigo decreases PTSD and anxiety levels in veterans, helping those who are suffering and having a long-lasting effect. Visit Comigo.com to learn how you can get Comigo through the VA or with a special veteran's discount code. Get ready for an epic collaboration as MB Radio and Patriot Radio join forces. These veteran-owned stations are uniting to bring you top-notch veteran-run podcasts along with your favorite classic rock music 24-7. Stay tuned for the ultimate radio experience that 
celebrates our heroes and plays the tunes that never get old. From engaging discussions to timeless hits, this partnership has everything you need for your listening pleasure. Don't miss out on this exciting new chapter in radio history as MB Radio and Patriot Radio come together to rock your world. This is Ferran from the Ferran Dozier Show, 8 p.m. Pacific Time on KCAA Radio, 106.5 FM, 1050 AM. Also streaming from the KCAA Radio.com website, the station that leaves no listener behind, and MBR Radio. That's right, MBR Radio on all their streaming platforms, including MBR Radio on Roku TV, Sunday nights live, 8 p.m. Pacific Time on KCAA Radio and MBRRadio.us. The Ferran Dozier Show. For more information, search FerranD.com. All right, and welcome back to the Ferran Dozier Show. Again, um, tonight's segment is very special to me because as, a, as I share my story traveling uh, around the country, internationally and nationally, um, I cannot leave this guy out of my story. Um, he is a very key part of why I'm even in front of you today. Um, as I shared in my transition out of the military was very challenging for me uh, from my medical retirement, um, not by choice. Um, I experienced sickle cell trait exertion with rhabdomyolysis, pretty much ended my career. And I had some friends, you know, prior to that, we would, I mean, I would be at the sports bar. I mean, you, our, our, my, my veteran community, my military community knows that we were, we were like cheers at the, at the Fridays in Torrance. And, um, and so very much into sports, you know, watching all the games at the bar, uh, you know, Monday night football, Sunday football, basketball, all of that. But in that, in that depression and anxiety of my experience, um, I can tell you, I lost interest in a lot of things in life. Um, and sports was one of those. And then sharing that, I share that um, some friends of mine saw me in, in this kind of state of mind that I was in. And they were like, man, you should go do like some kind of, uh, we've seen this blog talk platform. You should go do a show on blog talk or something about sports, just kind of keep your mind occupied. Um, and so I did, I looked up blog talk, found the platform, um, didn't know what I was, nothing what I was, I was in this space right here at, at home with a phone line and a laptop back in uh, 2010, uh, late 2009 into 2010. And went on Facebook, searched, and I found this page called Sports Log, Sports Wall. And I mean, his page was like listing of everything, you name it, from hockey, soccer, badminton. I mean, the guy just didn't miss a beat. And so I asked, reached, you know, I reached out to him and asked him, hey, would you like to, um, you know, host this sports show with me? Now, mind you, he is on the East Coast. So it's 11 o'clock right now. Uh, on his side of town. And I kid you not, uh, he said yes. Um, I had another lady, uh, Debbie, she also came aboard because I wanted a, a, a female's perspective on the show. So the three of us uh, were on this blog talk show. I was drinking Bacardi. I was drinking, well, Bacardi and Coke, but also uh, cranberry juice and vodka like an hour before the show because I was just so nervous. I didn't know what I was doing. And this guy hung in there. I mean, I think... We, the only reason why we didn't do a show is because I couldn't do the show. And I, and I want to say maybe we missed Sports Log, maybe two episodes, probably out of the whole entire time that we shared these platforms together. I think we may have done like, missed like maybe one or two shows the most, maybe two the most. Um, and so I acknowledge this guy because he, um, he, he became a part of this. This, this life that I have, like he was, he watered that seed that my friends planted and I, I could still talk trash, but he led the charge. He brought the subjects. He brought the topics. I, I just comment, you know, and things like that. And to this day, still, I have no real much interest in sports. However, what I do care about in sports is the mental toughness, right? The mindset because that's something that I had to go through and deal with. And if you look at athletes and military personnel, or even people who wear uniforms, um, sometimes when that uniform comes off, uh, and if that identity 
is trapped in that uniform, whether it's a football jersey or a basketball jersey or a soccer jersey or boxing gloves or camouflage uniform or a police officer uniform or a firefighter, like even doctors, sometimes that transition is tough. It's change. And who we become outside of that uniform is going to be very important. And so I share that when I do my advocacy work around sickle cell trait for my veterans and even with athletes here, don't lose your identity. Like that camouflage, that uniform is, is what you get to do. It's not you as a person. Don't lose sight of who you are as a person. And I had to do that. I had to figure out who I was, what I was up, what my life was about. And, uh, and here I am, you know, a sickle cell trait advocate. I have these platforms to speak and share information. I share this conversation with other chronic illnesses, with other different types of conversations. And this guy here tonight is a part of that. So I want to bring him to the to the deck and, and just let him uh, share what's happening, man. <laughs> what's the count? Man, man, man. Six <laughs> long. <laughs> I would live it. I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out tonight with me. Um, anything you want to share about our relate? Oh, let me tell the listeners. Now, mind you, this is 2010. We did not meet face to face until I had an opportunity to fly to Boston and to speak at Bluebird Bios um, Scientists. I did a sickle cell trait talk in Boston. And I think that was 2017, 2018 or 2017. So like seven no, eight years. Sounds, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like seven, wow. eight years we hadn't met face to face. Yeah. But we did. He said, he said, come into Boston. I'm here for a little bit. I'm like, all right, hey, we never met. <laughs> we it met what halfway you know? at the mall. <laughs> yeah, I think we went to like Cam you know, big places recognizable. So we could, you know, I'd be able to find Cambridge yeah. side galleria. Beautiful area, but yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah, just a parking garage. We went out for like, well, grab something to eat. It's like a half an hour you had layover. Hour. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty, pretty wild. I remember anything you everything. want to say? Anything you want to say about you know 2010 up until today? I mean, I just kind of share your your perspective, whatever you remember. I know that's my side of the story. <laughs> 2010. Whoa, that seems like a while ago. <laughs> Because uh, it, it, it was, but it was uh, so much. I mean, if I could go back and tell that guy something, like, <laughs> uh, you'll you'll get a lot of ups and downs. But you know, try to ride the middle of them up. But yeah, no, I, it, it's been a long ride, and uh, it, it, it took a while to get here. <laughs> I yeah, guess, but no doubt, it's, no it's doubt. been uh, it's been a good one. You know, I I keep keep in touch and I keep up the up to date and just try to keep my finger on. Yeah, well, that and, and now from sports log, sports wall to sports log, sports posts because he's keeping his finger on it. <laughs> Keep him up. I like that. Nice. That's good. Keeping his finger on that post. But let me, before we get out, before we let me bring uh Jody, aka DBC man. I know you on mute, man. I just want to introduce you to the people's man. If you're there, if you want to shout us out or you want to chime in into this first half of this uh, sports talk, man, you're more than welcome. What's happening, man? Hey, what's going on? I was gonna say thank you for having me. I I always enjoy the shows every week. We're gonna keep doing what we doing, you know, because all these conversations are very important. And they are needed. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you. And by the way, um, sports log Jody is a, a a Broncos fan, so feel free to uh, pick them apart at any time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, I'm up here in the, you know, I, I like the Boston teams a bit. And I'm in the Northeast, but uh, the Patriots have a pretty good run. But the Broncos, they're uh, they're a formidable opponent. Yeah. And they had their way with the Packers tonight. So let's, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the preseason. The Broncos look all right, but, you know, it's a big mix right now. Let's, yeah. Let's just, let's see how it all bubbles together. So I, I got to ask you, you have this um, San Francisco 49ers hat on? Like, did you lose the bet? <laughs> What? What? Because what, they lost the Super Bowl. Well, I got the hat before that, and I, you know, been a San Fran fan. Uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, Montana. I think they named a state after. Him. Oh, okay, okay. But no, okay. Uh, you know, I've always liked San Fran, and uh, I, I was on a whim, bought a hat last year, 
I, I had to wait. I, three one three. I had to wait for this year for my Detroit ad, <laughs> which I will, you know, I'll get, you know, probably in a month or so. Yeah, yeah. Before anything's bad, but yeah, no, I like to switch it around. I mean, I'm I'm a local you know, geography. Geography has set me where I am. I'm a local guy, but I, I dig all. You know, I have other teams too. You know? Yeah. No, man. Again, man. Thank you. Um, for hanging out with me again after all these years. We've been back and forth from a few episodes. On the LA Talk Live, you came and hung out over there. I think I, I think you came to Morris Media Studios and hung out over there before yeah. we shut down when the pandemic happened. So uh, yeah. he and I are not strangers at all. Uh, but I, I, I wanted, you know, someone to fulfill that space of that professional level kind of conversation, man. And I knew you could handle it. I appreciate that. And, uh, no, I mean... Uh... Hey, it, it is what it is, and uh, you just got to appreciate what's going on and uh, keep up to date. You know, that's what I'm saying. You, everything, every day, it's something different. It's a, it's such a perpetual machine. Yeah, um, yeah. You always you always want to have a fresh uh, fresh look at something. Always keep an open mind. So, you know, always just keep looking for something good. You know, to get that competitive competitive nature, the spirit. The, the Olympics were great. Yeah, you know, such good, uh, such good talent, so many good Olympians. Olympians. So, so uh, I guess I, I want to kind of have the uh, listeners kind of. Uh, we got a little bit of feedback, sports guy. For me. Yeah, if I think it's yourself. Um, so, let me take this break real quick, and we're gonna figure that out. All right, this is the front doors show on KC Radio. This is live, so this is what happens. Uh, anything is possible here. So we're gonna come back. I'm going to actually put some headphones on myself because maybe that might be my feedback coming from uh, this computer over here. So let's play some PSAs, come back and get back into some sports highlights. How about that? All right. The Ferran Doze Show on KCA Radio, mbradio.us. Make sure you check out those sites, kcaradio.com. Oh, and if you're in the Inland Empire and you're driving around and you got to get out of your car, grab your device, type in KCAA. Radio.com, and you can check us streaming from the website of kcaradio.com uh, live right now. And make sure you go get the apps too, both platforms. The Ferran Doze Show. Introducing J&J Beard Co., your go-to destination for high-quality, handmade, and natural beard products. Our family-owned business, based in New Jersey, prides itself on using the finest ingredients to bring you premium products that will elevate your grooming routine. Each product is carefully crafted with love and expertise, ensuring that you get the best care for your beard. Treat yourself to the luxury of J&J Beard Co. and experience the difference that true quality and craftsmanship can make for your beard. Join the J&J Beard Co. family today and unleash the full potential of your facial hair with our exceptional products. Find them on the web at jjbeardco.com. That's jjbeardco.com. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm blessed, my brother. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Hey, did you see the game last night? Oh, that was a good game. But did you see the shot? I lost money from that oh, shot. Oh, man, that shot was cold, I man. I it, but it was good. Damn. What's in those jeans? Mm. You really want to know? I do. Exhaustion, muscle spasm, asthmatic issues, unexpected sickle cell trait crises. Damn, are you serious? When I was young, I found out I had sickle cell trait. My mom's told me, but I ain't have no knowledge of it. But when I got older, I had a child, and the doctor told me my daughter has sickle cell trait. Do you know the fact that both parents have sickle cell trait? There's a 50% chance the child may have the trait, and 25% chance the child may have the disease. Hey, that's what's the count. Do you know that 2.5 million people in the United States have sickle cell trait? 300 million people globally? I didn't find out I had sickle cell trait until I was in the Army 10 years. Next thing you know, I had a sickle cell trait exertion site. Sickle cell? I thought that was a black gen or something. Nah, man, the Latin community is number two. One out of 36,000 babies are being born with sickle cell disease. You could be Caucasian, Mediterranean, European. You gotta know your bloodline, man. There is an inherited gene in our community that has been forgotten. The name is sickle cell trait. W-D-C-O-N-S-C-T, also known as what's the count? 
is out to bring awareness, education, and prevention to people all over the globe. Want more information? Call us now at 323-215-5384 or visit www.wdconsct.org. Zotobia salve, made from natural and organic ingredients, good for inflammation, poor circulation, hemorrhoids, yeast infection, lip sores, dry coughs, eye pain, minor cuts and bruises, and ready to purchase at BotanicaHerbalCO.com. B-O-T-A-N-I-C-A-H-E-R-B-A-L-C-O.com. BotanicaHerbalCO.com. All right, again, welcome back to the Frondose Show on KCA Radio, 106.5 FM and 10.50 AM. Also streamed from the KCA Radio.com website and mbradio.us on all their platforms. Uh, make sure you check us out. Again, uh, my guy Sports Log is here. Hopefully, I took care of uh, that situation. Sports Log, can you hear me? You there, Sports Log? No, you're on mute on one. Let me see. Can you hear me any better? Oh yeah, let me see. Don't have a. Let me see. You got you got two. I got you on two. You stages. got me now. I got you on two stages right now. I got earbuds. So let's see. This is where we are. Let me see. Catching up to me faster than I can do anything. Yeah, there you go. That All didn't right. work, huh? No, you. I got you. Can you? Hear All me? right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So, yeah, the Google was taking over my mic. So I got earbuds, and I can hear you, and you can hear me okay, and there's no echo, no stutter. Yeah, All right. Good, now we're golden. All right. So um, let me I'm see. catching up. No, you're good. You're good. Like I said, this is <laughs> and, and so people get to people get to see, hey, this is what it looks like. You want to you host a talk show? You got to be able to handle yeah. every. This is not pre-recorded. <laughs> This is live. No, no. I dropped the whole veil for this, man. And oh, back there, I'm lost. <laughs> I didn't switch rooms. I'm in the same spot. Just lost my virtual Don't reality. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. So I'm going to bring up DBC because, like I said, he is a Broncos fan. Um, so I got All right. I got the – um. let me add the sports page here. So I got the NBC Sports sports log up here. Um, mm-hmm. I, I got right now – the 18th so far today, there was New England, the, uh, the Saints and the 49ers. Clearly, the, yeah, the Saints. Go ahead, no, sir. No, no. So clearly, the 49ers won. What do you want to? What do you want to talk about with that? <laughs> it's preseason. I was thinking about it earlier. It's, it's kind of just what happens when you lose, like you know, a wing on a plane, and or like the engine on the other side, or the tail. You're still trying to land the plane. They're just trying to get through all the mess. Of you know, like, uh, the roster cutdowns and everything, and, and it's it get a win. I think that's what the NFL wants to see is every team should get a win in the preseason. Yeah. There's so much less less uh, denounce of parity where you know just get out there. Who who do you got? You who do you got in your team? What can they do? You know, show the coaches something. But uh, yeah, it was a good night tonight. Broncos beat up on the the Packers, and uh, <laughs> so I'm sure our friends. Have, but uh, you know, it's it's preseason. You can't really you can't really gauge anything. Everybody predicts predicts the predictions are crazy. Uh, fantasy football, right? Oh, this guy's gonna be great. You, you just don't know, you right? Know? You, you, <laughs> no, you don't know. Uh, yeah. But the 49ers have had some problems, though, man. As far as getting that <laughs> ring, what what is the missing piece of that puzzle? <laughs> they could have signed Brandon Ayuk when they had the chance, but uh, not facing Kansas City would have been a, would have been a great option last year. But and they 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 may make it back. Uh, Kansas City trying to get that first team to three feet. Uh, just you know, uh, San Fran sign somebody like Brandon Ayuk on the team before any of that mess happens. But just keep running the ball. You got one of the best running backs in the league, Christian McCaffrey. Just keep running the ball, and you know Brock Purdy will develop that defense. Yeah. You know? You're, so, up there, you're up there on offense, and you're, you're good on defense. Keep the balance. Get it, let it go. Uh, so I want to populate uh, this one here since you are um, a New England fan. 
Well, I liked them when they were one in 15, <laughs> only because it was the only thing on the TV that Sunday. But I, I was I was pretty young then. Uh, I watched uh, I watched the, the Eason and um, uh, yeah, I watched the Patriots get to the Super Bowl, lose pretty bad that first time. Then they get there again. But I mean, you know, when you can latch on to a shooting style like. The, the number 199th pick of the draft. Right, it, right, right. No one gets that lucky. No one will get that lucky again. And that guy, that guy had a lot to do with it. But you know, uh, I mean, I like other. I like watching all football. I watch mm-hmm. every game as the TV allows or what, what's out there, just because it's uh, you know it's a dynamic sport. And it, it holds all the it holds all the, <laughs> the questions and answers you want. Everybody at work and hey, you know, to see this game, who's yeah. your team? What, How's your fantasy doing? What do you think um, your Patriots, what are they going to, what's your prediction? <laughs> hey, man, we had enough losing. We got some winning. I, I don't want to say we had enough winning, but um, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they really, they don't have the, the first step of, you know, trying to jump out, out of, jump off the ledge and get as far as they can. I think they're just trying to build it back up. Yeah. Uh, Gerard Mayo, we'll see how he is. I mean, he's a, he's a Belichick guy. Uh, he was personally one of my favorite linebackers at the time. People, uh, he didn't have a lot of highlights and he didn't have a lot of uh, statistics. That's because people ran away from him. That's how dominant he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> they're saying five and six wins. That's a little. I mean, that could be realistic, but we'll see. It's a tough division this this time around. You got, did, you, uh, did you say Josh five or Allen. six wins? Did you say five or six wins? Is that what you said? Hey, I would I would hope for like seven, eight. I mean, you know, you get an extra game in there now, but I mean, they got to face that division six times. Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, Tua, who's one of the higher paid guys now, and it's a tough conference. The AFC has been the tougher conference, bendably, you know, back and forth. Yeah. It seems like I mean, Kansas City. It's been hard to beat world beaters at all. They start off limping. They jump high they start off high and they continue right out see what they can do you know no teams ever won three no um dbc man i know you over there kind of quiet man um what what are you predicting from your broncos over there you got anything you want to say about that we got uniform the good quarterback i predict <laughs> the playoff. <laughs> playoffs for us uniform say it all man <laughs> You heard that sports like you said uniform. They got no, I, mean, I, I just believe they're gonna make the playoffs outside of their uniforms. I just think they're a good team, better than they were last year. But they should have kept Russell Wilson one more year, but he, he didn't get along with the coach. <laughs> and and the uh, uh, upper office. You gotta get along with John Elway in that organization. But uh the coaching turnovers is the way they've had. Uh, yeah, let, let's see them make some noise. They they need to find some solidarity in the, the quarterback. But they have some talent, and the defense is always, you know, the Orange Crush has always been, uh, you know, they've always been putting up solid linebacker numbers, trying to stop the run, you know, the basic, basic moves for defense. They should be all right this year. I don't know about playoffs. It's a tough division. You got to battle Kansas City, <laughs> no conference too. You know, where are the wild cards coming this year? I think that's going to be mm. that's going to that's going to be the battle. Fader, <laughs> what'd you say? I hope we be better than the faders. <laughs> <laughs> and they just not, uh, named uh, what was it? Um, uh, Gardner Minshew. They named him starting quarterback today because they they haven't gotten on the right track. Derek Carr didn't pan out. They let him go. Now Gardner Minshew. Uh, so you can probably get two wins against them, but they got a pretty, you know, you got a pretty solid defense and some some talent across the offense. But you know, teams don't stay long, don't stay together long enough to, you know, you know, get some, uh, just get uh, camaraderie that you need on a yeah. on a football team. Yeah, that's you know, you, that trading players in and out doesn't always work. That that camaraderie yeah. equals that chemistry, and uh, yeah. that could definitely play a role. Or told in that situation. Oh yeah, how that team flows together. It's football. There's so much involved. You know, it's not just offense, defense, special teams, intangibles. You know, so many cogs in the in the machine. Now I know you're saying it's still early, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too hard on the on the on the subject. But uh, 
what is your take on the Falcons and Baltimore? Uh, the Falcons and Baltimore, as far as <laughs> this predict, the prediction this season. It's early. It's early. Again, that division. Pittsburgh looks like they've made the right moves. They've got a two-headed dragon who, you know, that has to do that has to do a lot with injury. Mm-hmm. You lose your starting quarterback, you got to have something to do. You got to have some some kind of answer and, you know, right now they have the best one two punch, but I mean, you're talking about Mike Tomlin, the most uh tenured guy in the NFL and he can come up with, you know, he had slash, I don't know, those Tomlin, I mean, uh Kyle, but they, you know, he can do that type of stuff. And, just move somebody around on the offensive line, put somebody in the slot. It's like he just, and now with two quarterbacks, <laughs> kind mm-hmm. of puts a lot of scramble. So I do like Pittsburgh in that division. Baltimore will have a tough time. Cincinnati, Joe needs to bounce back and clean. That could be the toughest division with all of those teams. So you just you just gotta find a spot in the you know you gotta win your division if you want to make the playoffs. But you just gotta find a spot behind somebody else. And that that's gonna be tough this year. The American, the American Conference. The North, <laughs> man, mm-hmm. it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Both North, uh, the NFC, Green Bay, Detroit, those are going to be some nice games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detroit finally found their rhythm. Yeah. I think yeah, no, I, I, I'm a big fan of Detroit. Oh, I mean, Barry Sanders there, he's one of my early favorites. But uh, they, they do look like they're putting it together. And uh, Campbell, he's a tough guy. And you like that. And the guys are backing him. So it could I, I be a really good year for the line. I remember being stationed in Detroit, and, and they were all the, the joke was they were waiting for Barry to come back. <laughs> you know, I, I was question. I couldn't believe it myself. I questioned like, why would he walk away? I watched the um, what was it on uh, Prime? I think the special on him, and you know, just he said it all. Yeah, the game had changed for him. All his friends were gone off the team, and they they wanted to just keep just run, Barry, run. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to run towards the championship, not away <laughs> from everybody else. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, on the screen. We got uh, New York and Houston. I think Houston's been making the change the last few years too, though, right? C.J. Stroud could be your MVP this year. That really? Kid, uh, well, the sophomore step he takes, it's either gonna, you know, I mean, Houston will make the playoffs. I'm assuming, it, you know, that's probably one of your less decided divisions. I mean, you got a lot of different differential equation, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Houston. I mean, those are some movement teams, but um, you know, it's just, it's, it's how you play out and, and history. And I mean, you know, um, just how you handle the injuries and get through the year. And you know what I mean? And the teams are so much more now and you got an extra game. I think there's a, there's a lot to it that just there's so much more intangibles than there ever used to be. Yeah, definitely today. I think the one yeah. thorn in my side is is <laughs> is Cincinnati, man. <laughs> and the Bears. Whoa, you gonna <laughs> you and those Bears fans, man. I don't know. But the Bears look like they're poised too. They got the uh the big pick, the number one head, and uh Adunye, Adun- and Romeo Adunzie. Uh, I can't get his last name right yet, but uh, he's he's a premier catch, and he'll uh, they'll have they'll have a big year uh, as long as they can stay healthy. That's a tough division, and yeah. Caleb, you know, he's a big guy, but he's young and needs a lot of reps. <laughs> DBC, do you got another team besides the the, the Broncos that you follow? Any, you got any other interest? I can't believe he didn't mention Derrick Henry, man. Derrick Henry's going to take them a long way with his running. Yeah. I, yeah. But the Ravens is close. They just – I feel they got the right piece now. I really do. Derrick Henry. I think they'll be right. better than Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't like Mike Tomlin anyway. Still, <laughs> yeah, man. We don't like him either, but he's good. I mean, he's a great coach, and he's, he, he can do a lot with that team. He's done – what, he's, he has the most 10 wins, I think, or something like that last year. He secured a pretty big, uh, pretty big score, pretty good record. He's gonna get fired this time. <laughs> what? If they go on the losing streak this coming season, he will get fired. He hasn't. He <laughs> hasn't had a losing streak. What are you talking about? Oh, he's man. had ten wins yeah. plus, and him. Yeah. I think. I think if he falters, or if he ever gets close to a hot seat, 
mid-season with only like four wins. I mean, how do you replace? It's the same, you know. The most tenured coach is the hardest guy to get out of the league uh, to get a replacement. Find somebody who's going to replace him. I mean, they only they lost two game two preseason to get preseason game four so far. Like I said, we're just getting started, so it's real early. Yes, yeah. But defense is at a premium this year because of some of the different rules. You got a new kickoff going on. A lot of guys are just going to be out there just hitting people. They don't know what else to do. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's going to be a good season. I just, you know, it's, it's wide open. open. That's what I like about it. Wide, wide, wide open. So, sports, wide talk, open. Man, I, I hope, man, to that you um, hang out with us this season, man. I, I uh, we're, 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 we're 11 o'clock your time Sunday night. So, when, whenever you are available, man, I, 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 I hope that you can come in and give us, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of some highlights or some. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, this is this is when it all comes. This is when it all comes down on a Sunday night, you know. And you got people are just waiting for the stuff to happen. I, sure, well, I love little league baseball, but it's only three <laughs> weeks. It's only three weeks till opening day for most teams, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're getting we're getting in the mood, the mode, doing the drafts. <laughs> Exactly. So I appreciate you, man, for hanging out tonight, man. Again, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, you are a, nothing, nothing less than a blessing for me. Um, the passion that I have for this um, talk shows, uh, definitely you help fuel that conversation, man, and um, just turn my life completely around. Man. So I thank God for, pl- for placing you in my life, too, bro. You're a true friend, man. True friend. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that, man. It's always nice to hear. Great talking with you, my friend. And All right, man. We'll, we'll do it again. We'll do Get it again. Worked out. All right. <laughs> no doubt. Thank you. All right, brother. You All take right. care. You too. I'll see you. All right. All right. This, again, is the Frondose Show. I got DBC on deck, man. Me and DBC going to have a talk for a second. But before that, let's play some PSAs. Again, this is the Frondose Show on KC Radio. That was Sports Log, Sports Wall, a.k.a. now Sports blog sports pulse so make sure you check him out i got him tagged in on the social media um especially on facebook find his page over there sports logs sports posts on facebook check out his highlights i reach out to him i can't wait till the fanatic segments come where we get to challenge his knowledge with some sports fans out there so if you're a sports fan and you want to be a part of this segment you want to talk about shout out your favorite team or whatever you want to talk trash about your team as long as it's clean, because we are on AM, FM radio simultaneously, uh, streaming on Roku TV and other platforms. So only keep your family. We good. All right. We'll be right black. I mean, right back with the Fra and Dozier show on KC Radio and MB Radio. U. Do you remember studying sickle cell in biology class? What's the Count on Sickle Cell Trait Prevention is here to bring you awareness, education, and prevention conversations around the risk factors of this inherited gene. Visit WDCONSCT.org. This is Ferran from the Ferran Dozier Show, 8 p.m. Pacific Time on KCAA Radio, 106.5 FM, 1050 AM. Also streaming from the KCAA Radio.com website, a station that leaves no listener behind. And MBR Radio, that's right, MBR Radio on all their streaming platforms, including MBR Radio on Roku TV, Sunday nights live, 8 p.m. Pacific time on KCAA Radio and MBRRadio.us. The Ferran Dozier Show. For more information, search FerranD.com. Muchos de nosotros nos vemos afectados por la enfermedad de células fastiformes a diario y un número creciente simplemente no nos damos cuenta. Los impactos de esta enfermedad afectan a todas las personas y en especialmente a las personas de color y con antecedentes diversos. Estar en servicio conmigo y con los demás a medida que creamos una mayor conciencia sobre cómo identificar y dirigir el tratamiento de los rasgos de células fasciformes y ayudar a las familias a saber cómo superar el trastorno de células fasciformes. W D C O N S
it, they hating the gritty. Me and my little brother, my lovely mother, try to make it easy. But we were some knuckles, though. We used to let them knuckles throw. We used to let them chuckles go when we thought about the places we would go. Yeah, lights off. Yeah, no, really. Lights off. Yeah, no money. Lights off. Under the candlelight. All right, again, welcome back to the Front Doze Show. That's right. You can catch me Sunday nights. Well, check it out. Saturday nights at 7 p.m. on the Revolution Radio Show, GH3, God's House of Hip Hop. Used to be Dash Radio. Now they're lit live. So make sure you go get that app or that website and check us out over there. So it's Saturday at 7 p.m., the Revolution Radio Show. And then again on Sunday at 5 p.m. Shouts out to... Jay Love and Lillian, they are taking a break. So guess who's, you know, holding down the show? That's me, uh, Ferran, aka WDC. But I got a new co-host who's stepping in. One Way TK is going to be my partner in the show. One Way TK. So make sure you check us out uh, on all platforms. I'm at Ferran Dozier, but uh, he and I are going to team up together and keep that show going. Our first guest. Uh, together is going to be my man, a.k.a. DBC, uh, because September kicks off Sickle Cell Awareness Month for us. And so I wanted to make sure that um, Jody has an opportunity to share um, his gospel. He's a gospel rapper as well. So, you know, share some of that gospel rap, um, but more about helping us kick off sickle cell trait and sickle cell disease all combined nationally Sickle Cell Awareness Month uh, for September. So, and again, about sickle cell trait is very important. I know this station is based out of Denver, Colorado. And just to touch on how important that is um, for this conversation is that places like Denver, Colorado are known to be dangerous, if that's a good word for that, around sickle cell trait carriers because of the oxygen levels are too are thin there, right? So a person with sickle cell trait could experience or be experiencing some complications to those red blood cells because of the lack of oxygen, right? Because we have one normal red blood cell and we have one that's the sickle shaped trait, uh, which you can see behind me on my banner. Um, The one that looks like a crescent moon is a sickle cell trait gene. And the other red blood cell is the donut shape, as you can see behind me. Uh, That donut shape, if you have normal red blood cells, lives about 120 days. That sickle cell crescent moon shape only lives about 20 days. So you can see how important that is for oxygen um, to take place through the body. And when you have one defective gene like sickle cell trait or thalassemia trait or or alpha thalassemia or beta thalassemia or C trait or D trait or OA rab or Monroe, um, hundreds of different types of red blood cell conditions out there. Sickle cell trait is just one. Um, so I'm going to pull up my website uh, real quick before I bring up DBC. Uh, if you go to WDCONSCT.org, you can check us out. Uh, this is what, this is my life after the military right here. Uh, I was born with that inherited gene. Um, and I thank God that my, that he trusted me, he trusted my family to pass that gene to me, to become an advocate, to bring awareness. So when you go through those trials and tribulations of your life, especially as a veteran, like I said in the beginning, our identity for some of us could be trapped in that uniform and we walk around as all human beings. One of the questions is why am I, why was I born? Why am I here? What's my purpose? What's my passion? What's my gift? Like these are the conversations that we have silently to ourselves. And without those answers, sometimes um, worst case, we, we feel like we don't belong. Uh, we feel like I'm on my own. There's something wrong with me. Uh, whatever that is, that's not the truth, right? And so this sickle cell trait has become my my work. And if you go to WDC on SCT.org, you will see all of the basic information uh, that we have about sickle cell trait. So, so important. African-Americans, we are number one but you could be Caucasian, Mediterranean, Asian descent, um, Saudi Arabian. So I got on the page the list of all the different backgrounds of, of who carries a sickle cell trait because it combats malaria, right? So if you understand sickle cell trait, those parts of the world uh, where malaria is present, each culture had their 
red blood cell gene, defective gene to combat the malaria. So they had an opportunity to survive if they got malaria. So you can have a chance to survive malaria um, if your red blood cells, like a sickle cell trait person, maybe from 25% to 40, 42% of those red blood cells, if, if those are the S trait, you have an opportunity to survive malaria. And that's what the body created. The body created that defective gene so that they, people could survive malaria, right? So if you go to the website, you'll be able to go through the different tabs and just visit each page. Uh, the support page here, there's our donation page. This is our basketball platform that we're bringing using the ABA membership to bring awareness in Ventura County around the Ventura Orcas. Uh, those are how we're going to raise some funds to support our awareness, our travels. Um, so we are partnered with the ABA as a platform to play 20 games, 10 home games, 10 away games, and you know bring some awareness nationally with that platform, but also chase the ABA championship, right? So we have an opportunity as an organization, as a member of the ABA, the American Basketball Association, if you remember, Dr. J came from there. Um, I'm, I, I met Brian Taylor. So Brian Taylor was the one who was giving all those dimes to Dr. J. Uh, he's going to be working with us in our ABA platform as well. So uh, you can go to that page there and check out what our mission is. If you'd like to participate, you could always go there and donate or reach out to us for more information there. Uh, who is Ferran? I have my page there. Uh, just about all the different things that I'm up to in the community. Uh, we got a place where you can take the survey. My daughter, Deja, created that survey in her college course. And uh, so I use, we, we use that now for the last maybe about shoot, six years or seven years now. Um, we have the contact page. We have the page about all of the different talk shows that I have. You can see there from the Frondose show to the GH3 and also the Blog Talk show. Right. And also I'm on um, the Breakthrough Network with Beyond 2D on the second and fourth Tuesday. So just go to the website. Like I said, you can check us out there about us, the awareness. And guess who's on the page? My guy, Jody, a.k.a. DBC. Uh, we perform the Battle of the Gene, so he has a page on there. So you can make sure you go and check him out, see what he's up to, the stuff that he cares about as well. Uh, let me bring him on stage, man, because I'm over here talking. DBC, you there, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, so I got, I got, the, I got your tab up right now. Um, so just, just sharing information about what we're up to, uh, as far as our sickle cell trait, sickle cell disease conversations. But I want to say this before you, before uh, Jody, before you say something. Uh, this is my daughter. Uh, one of my daughters has sickle cell trait. One out of my three daughters um, has sickle cell. That's Deja. She's also an advocate. She supports the conversation. Um, around giving birth and, and blood drives. That's what she cares about. But I want you to know that we have the trait doctor, Dr. Maisha, um, who has taken on helping trait patients be taken care of by their doctors. So she is able to see patients in 20 states uh, based on the consultation. So if you have sickle cell trait out there and you want more information, you're having some troubles having your doctors pay attention and listen to you because a lot of the doctors say that sickle cell trait doesn't cause any complications and shouldn't have any problems. Just don't make with another person with sickle cell disease. Well, that's not the case. There are risk factors. There are issues, health challenges around sickle cell trait as I've shared mine. Um, so you can make sure you can go to the website, reach out to uh, inscription.co or go to the website and, um, Click who is Dr. Maisha, check her out, click on the tab and it'll take you to the website. We have a whole curriculum of CMEs and CEs that we put together for her to re-educate doctors and nurses, um, coaches at that medical staff level. Um, I'm the patient advocate, so I take care of the community piece, but she is the doctor. And so she makes sure that I stay on track. Uh, but with her expertise as sickle cell trait and other red blood cell condition, she is now the trait doctor. So if you have issues with the trait and you need support, wdconsct.org, you can go there and find her tab. I think that's pretty much the main points about that. Um, I got a tab for the risk factors. 
uh, the red cells versus white. So this is where J uh, Jody and I coming together. Um, he's allowed me to be on that track, the Battle of the Jeans. Uh, was that, that one, is that gonna play? I don't think it's. Let me see. I fell asleep for a minute. I was scared. I went through my heartbeat. Man, was I dead? Running out of air and I passed out. Now I understand why I'm scared. Cause I don't think I'm dying. 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 Cause Yes, I can hear it. Oh, it was okay. Cool, cool, cool. So that's that's the Battle of Jeans right there. I'm gonna finish letting that play. Uh, I got the video up, J Jody, so they could see. This is when we was at Pastor Ron's church uh, before he passed away. Uh, we went and had a celebration. It was about five days that week uh, that we were able to perform the Battle of Jeans. So this is um this is us right here. I'm gonna let me let that play for a little bit. Yeah, 20 years later, I received Christ all I hear for a reason. He sells our treatment. Breaking my body down, I feel like screaming. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I gotta be with those red blood cells. I won't sell. You can't let them overtake me. Now it won't happen. Just like the looks in the game. Yeah, yeah. And you can break all you want to, even if you die. Already checked in, just like a hike. No, you won't stop me. Yes, you can mock me. Look if you can see red cells keep dropping. I know it's so that's our advocacy work right there. He and I, um, I'm blessed to be a part of that battle of the genes. He's the red cell. I'm the white cell. If you understand about sickle cell trait and sickle cell um, disease or the anemia, um, some people, when they have those crises, those white cells rise up and they attack to kill off those dead cells. But sometimes those white cells kill off the good cells and even sometimes it attacks the organs. So like lupus, if you understand lupus, lupus is an autoimmune disease. Those are the white cells. And sometimes it's like having your secret service men attack you to protect you. Instead of protecting you, they attack you. So those white blood cells sometimes rise up so high that they attack the good organs and the good parts of the body and the good cells. Um, so, so that's the battle of the genes right there. And again, you know, just make sure you go check us out. We got a, a sports camp that we're working on as well. Again, we're going to connect that um, with the Orcas and the Riverside County Mavericks and also some after school programs and things like that so that's the life that we get to live um, jody's my teammate we just came from camp roberts um, speaking at the base there um, i'm thankful that the army has started to retest their soldiers on their annual physicals and their new recruits right so the marines um, the navy the air force they test their soldiers airmen and seamen because of their tip that the types of job skills however with sickle cell trait, the army was testing for the anemia, but now um, there's shouts out to Dr. O'Connor, uh, who has been doing a study around African American soldiers and why some of us have had complications and some don't. And so they just went across the board and just started retesting everybody. Um, and so again, you not it's not just a black gene. We're all mixed and blended today, so you could have that gene in your family as well. Hispanic, Mediterranean, Asian descent. Uh, anything else, Jody, you want to say before we get out of here? I'm just excited, looking forward to Sickle Cell Awareness Month next month. One of our busiest months. I'm looking forward to um, September. Yeah, we will. Um, we'll be posting some information uh, at the for the, for the Cayenne Wellness uh, Sickle Cell Conference in September. Uh, he and I will be. Um, there together um, speaking and moderating some some programs, some conversations with the client wellness. We, we appreciate that. I think I've done, I don't know, at least 10. I don't, I, I lost track of how many of the client, client wellness um, engagements I've been able to speak with, but I'm definitely blessed to be a part of that conversation and hold down that sickle cell trade talk with them. Uh, what else, man? I think that's it, man. Sports log, you there? Can I bring you back up, Sports log? You willing to come back up and say say your goodbyes, man? Let me see. You still there, hanging sure. out, man? I saw you down there. What's happening? Uh, yeah, I was listening. Oh, cool, uh, man. Yeah, no, just working, working everything in. Getting a lot. Stream going up. Join. Cool, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, so. 
we I think our time is up. Uh, DBC man, I appreciate you for hanging out tonight too as well. Shouts out to the Sports Collective team. I got to get out of here again. This is WDC on SCT.org, the Fran Jose show on KCA Radio 106.5 FM, 1050 AM. Also stream from the KCAA Radio.com website and MB radio.us make sure you go there and check out my brothers and sisters who are doing their podcasts here shouts out to nbr